Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and today I'm going to show you how to print out a giant poster using any standard printer. You'll need a computer, a printer, some scissors, and some glue. You also need a picture. Lighter images with lots of contrast tend to scale and print best. They also use up less ink. Also remember, printing copyrighted material is against the law, so just stick to your own photos and graphics. The first step is to use our computer to scale up the image and process it so that it can be printed out across multiple sheets of paper. If you just want an accurate, blown up version of any image, upload it to a site like Faster Poster or Block Posters and it will spit out a downloadable PDF. Aside from the fact that the image has been diced up, there's not a lot of processing going on here, so it's great for school projects or printing out a big sign for your garage sale, but you'll have to accept that it's going to look a little Frankenstein once you glue it together. Now, if the goal is something pretty to hang on the wall, I recommend embracing imperfection and going a little abstract. There's a great but unfortunately named program out there called Rasturbator that scales images up using a halftone effect. This makes them a little more forgiving to stitch together, and the result has a nice Andy Warhol vibe. The program is a free download for Windows, but a ported version for Mac and Linux is also out there, so check out my posts on CNET How To for links and details. Once you open up the software, select the image, choose the paper size you'll be printing to, and how many sheets wide you want the poster to be. On the next page, you'll find a checkbox that will put a cutout guide around the image. I recommend having that on. You also have a setting for halftone dot size. Generally, small dots work best for smaller prints, and big dots are meant for the big stuff, but play around with it. There's also a setting here for color mode. If you have a full color printer, try multicolor or go artsy by choosing a custom monochrome color. If all you have is a black and white printer, don't worry, the results are still pretty cool and sometimes even cooler than going full color. Finally, choose where the file is going to go and then hit Rasturbate. You now have a PDF of your image all chopped up and ready to go. You'll see what each page is going to look like when printed, but before you do that, see if you can scrounge up some thick paper to print on. It'll be easier to cut, easier to glue, and it's not going to warp as easily as cheap copy paper. Also, if you're printing in black and white, try color paper to punch things up. After you print printed out all the pages, it's time to cut them up and then glue them together. The pro method is to trim off all the edges with a paper cutter and then glue the arranged sections to a poster board. But the quick and cheap way to go is to slice the edges off of every other page so that you have a little lip here that you can glue onto. Now I did this one here with just a pair of scissors and a glue stick, and then I flipped it over and I taped up the seams on the back for a little extra support. Now depending on how many pages you end up with, this could take some time to assemble and chances are you're going to mess up your first attempt and want to start over. But it gets easier as you go along and by the time you're done, you're going to end up with something like this. It's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty cool from a distance. So there you go. Those are my favorite options for printing up big posters from a small printer. Follow me on Twitter for more tips like these, or subscribe to my updates on Facebook. Also, be sure to check out my full write-up on CNET How To for more details and links. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell. Happy Rasturbating.